Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm Nisha Charles. Coming up, work progresses on providing access to daily St. Botica. The Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt continues to visit areas affected by Tropical Storm Erica and the Plastic Recycling Initiative to be revamped. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. Thanks for staying with us. Work is progressing as a team of engineers seek to restore access into Dalis and Boetica. These two communities have been cut off from the rest of the island since Tropical Storm Erica struck on August 27th. The nation's leader, the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt, Parliament representative for the Lapland constituency Peter Saint-Jean, along with other cabinet ministers and officials from the Ministry of Public Works, joined engineers on Wednesday to see the progress on work being done to create access, as well as to weigh the options for the short and long term. As you have seen, we were able to cut a road to, to do some closer inspection to see how we can get a, one of the bridges across the, the, the river. Um, there's some more engineering work or analysis that has to be that has to be done. Um, we're hoping that we can get this very soon so that we can make a determination as to which option. There'll be the, the whole of the idea, the, the approach we would like to take is to have a a temporary um, approach and also a permanent uh, structure because clearly the, 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 the priority of the government is to is to cause there to be connection between. Uh, La Plaine and, and, and Boetica and Delis. Over the past six weeks, access through the Boetica Gorge has been significantly improved. However, there remains no vehicular access through the area. Honorable Parliament representative of the La Plaine constituency, Peter Saint-Jean, assured residents that they remain his top priority. Of course, as pal rep for the area, my overriding concern over the past six weeks and going forward is to ensure that the people can return to a state of normalcy as far as their livelihood is concerned and that is hinged on providing them access. But again, let me remind my constituents that the government of Dominica led by Roosevelt Skerritt is consumed with the whole issue of providing access to the people of Delis and Boetica. A better cable system is being employed to move produce and supplies across the gorge while a road is being used to give access to pedestrians. In other news, plant manager of the Dominica Coconut Products, Edmund Bash, has described as timely Thursday's visit to the plant by Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt. The plant suffered significant damage during the passage of Tropical Storm Erica in August and is currently in restoration mode. The Dominica leader was accompanied by the Honorable Minister for Planning, Economic Development and Investment, Dr. John Colin McIntyre, the Honorable Parliament Representative for the Maho Constituency, Raven Blackmore, and President of the Dominica Association of Industry and Commerce, Jeffrey Baptiste. Um, we are very happy that um, the PM had visit and, and the team um, to, to have a first-hand look at the facility and, and see the impact uh, or witness the impact of, uh, uh, of the tropical storm Erika and devastation to the plant. Um, as we indicated, uh, as I indicated uh, to the team, um, is that we're in the process of uh, the restoration. We're doing the cleanup at the moment, uh, which is very time consuming, as you can see, uh, touring, around, touring the facility. And uh, the next phase also is that we're working on the assessment across uh, the facility in terms of uh, cost and timeline uh, to restore back the factory. So we are very happy. Um, and um, the visit was a very worthwhile visit uh, from the PM. Um, you know, one of, uh, to visit one of the leading manufacturer in Dominica, which is Dominica Co Coconut Products, and a contribution that um, you know we make to the economy of, of Dominica. So I think was uh, was the right timing for the Prime Minister. Um, the Dominica leader also visited the Makushri estate, which suffered over five million dollars in damages by flooding associated with the passage of Tropical Storm Erica. JS News spoke with a major shareholder of Schillingford Estates Limited, Clifton Schillingford. I think it's a uh it's a good thing that happened to us in the fact, in the fact that he has seen the disaster, disaster here firsthand. The, or not only the king, but the other buildings, the office area, the distillery itself, which was a major, major, major move. The playing field, which is where we played cricket, but the thing is that we are going to, we're going to put it in king. The Bayfront 
I, I mean, it was a bit of a rush. He couldn't see, but that I, I guess he'll see. But I'm, I'm happy that he's seen everything. He's seen all the costs we have to go to. And hopefully something will come out of all that. Shilinfo is very satisfied with the discussions held with the Honorable Prime Minister. We have to send some documents to some cost some expense to him. And then uh, it will be working, especially we did. The workers stayed on the estate. Will be, uh, their homes completely gone. We now not need to build for them so we could keep them working on this. As of today, we probably have only two of them. The others went to look for other jobs to make some fast money because now they have to pay rent in Salisbury. So um, one of the main things we should go to I discuss with him is to get because we had that building going on the estate so the workers could be on it. And he was, he was very receptive. He uh, put down to one of his secretaries to deal with. So I'm going to be working on that almost immediately. We can't let that, that that's history. We can't let history go down. We have the um, river, which is the canal, because all broken down, and this is what crushes the king. The water hits the peloton, returns the mill, and crushes the king. So we're not going to let that go down. We have to keep history going. And you can you see what history did with that bridge? That bridge is 90 something years old. And if that bridge was the one who now helped save, not only me, save the country. So we need to keep it going, we need to repair it because there's some damage in it, which I showed to the Prime Minister. So I think we'll be working together. I think he has indicated to me that we will work with us. Okay, so I think that's it. We have all, we still have a lot of work to do, a lot of playing up. But I think we, we have strength for the Lord is with us. We believe in the Lord and I think we'll get through. In more news, stakeholders are strengthening efforts to revamp the recycling of plastics initiative here in Dominica. With a vast amount of plastics being brought into the country in recent times, various partners are stepping up their efforts to collect as many plastics as possible to rid the environment of such material. On Thursday, some of these stakeholders held a discussion at GIS Studios on this revamping initiative. At the helm of the project is the Dominica Solid Waste Management Corporation. A waste characterization study was done in 2002 and that study pointed out to a number of, 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 of waste and, and, and the, the volumes of that of those waste in, in Dominica and plastics ended up being about 12% of waste from rural and urban um, communities that was in 2002, now in 2015 and with the influx of plastics after Erica and even after Hurricane David you saw that plastics um, continue or, or, or showed up its ugly head and um, was one of the, the wastes which we would see more on our seashores in our pristine environment. Now after Erica, plastics again continue to be that type of waste which we are much concerned about. Um, we have a number of plastics coming into the island um, as relief we are packaging for relief and um, relief foods for water and etc. And we are very much concerned about the, about the volumes of, of that waste going into our physical environment. The corporation wants to ensure the public that the market is available to recycle these plastic materials. We already have a market for plastics in Barbados and this market is poised and ready to, to accept any volume of, of plastic, shredded plastics um, to that market. Um, the important thing also is that we have equipment available in, 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 in the form of a plastic shredder which was given to us by Joseph and Gabriel and company when they switched from bottle um, soft drink, breakable bottle soft drink to that of plastics, your coke and your busters and also um, etc. Um, that type of plastic we're speaking about is the PET, the PET plastics and um, those plastics for us are important in, in removal from the environment. There are a number of, of, of reasons for saying that because they can be harborage for vermin and and, and mosquitoes and other insects which can cause harm um, to our environment uh, to, uh, and, and also to our people, to the health of our people. As you continue to say, we don't collect um, wastes for the visitors, uh, to, to protect the visitors from harm, but first and foremost to protect our citizens from health risks associated with improper disposal of those types of waste. Another partner in this fight is the Environmental Coordinating Unit, the ECU. The ECU is presently implementing a communication strategy which focuses on three critical areas, climate change, land degradation, and biodiversity. Environmental officer at the ECU with responsibility for public awareness, Jaisai Benoit, says waste management is a cross-cutting issue. 
focusing in this instance on plastics and the introduction of a new technology where we can shred the plastic and, and in turn ship it out to be recycled. We see that this will significantly improve our capacity to maintain our high level of biodiversity as we are known as the Nature Isle for our high level of flora and fauna. So we realize that the impact that plastics within the environment can have on our biodiversity, we are very much concerned about that. So we welcome the initiative, you know, um, that is being spearheaded now and as a partner we hope to play a significant role in helping people to understand the impact that plastic can have particularly in the marine environment. Many coastal communities exist in Dominica where there's a high dependence on the fishery sector. When we release these plastics into the marine environment we are in fact diminishing our fisheries and our ability to generate revenue um, from that resource. When we consider the release of plastics in the um, terrestrial environment it diminishes the quality of our tourism and product it also can lead to complications in terms of soil quality and then that has implications for food security so it's very important for the ECU to be um, in lockstep with our partners the Dominica Solid Waste Management Corporation Environmental Health Department you know in in terms of in educating the public on the importance of separating your, your waste as you said at source Jacobs is advising the public to separate their plastics from general waste what we're saying to them is that uh, after you're through drinking your water, various types of water is coming in now, and bottled water coming into the country, and we have about nine um, relief centers. We have placed um, beans in those relief centers in certain strategic areas so that people can dispose of their plastics and their recyclable waste in those um, bins. We are saying to homeowners that they should um, bag their plastics and put them in, recycle, in, in receptacles. We are saying to business places also um, that they should provide receptacles for their customers. And um, we are asking the general public to reuse waste, to reuse those plastics for storage of, 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 of food items, maybe milk, maybe water, um, probably oil, things like that. Um, we, we, we are saying to them also that when they go to the supermarkets, they should not ask for another plastic bag but look to reuse the plastic bags that was given to them previously when they came shopping. Jairz will bring you more from that discussion in a subsequent newscast. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. Wash your hands. I am Adora Tuse, health educator from the Ministry of Health. Proper hand washing protects against the spread of many common illnesses and germs. Wash your hands often with soap and water, or you may use a hand sanitizer. Remember, clean hands save lives. Protect yourself. A message from the health promotion of the Ministry of Health. Welcome back. Corporate citizens are being called on to assist government with its rebuilding efforts. That call came from Parliament representative for the Castle Bruce constituency, the Honorable Johnson Drago. He was speaking at a handing of a ceremony of a house on Wednesday. The task of rebuilding Dominica is not going to be easy. Presently, we are concentrating on relocating the, the, um, the houses rather for the people of the Pinty Savan Jimmy area. That in itself is a mammoth task. So I say to the corporate citizens out there, out there, especially those who may not have been affected directly by Erica, please continue to play your part. Just help one family. It takes the burden of the hundreds government has to, um, to think of. And let's continue to work together to build Dominica by supporting each other most importantly supporting the most needy among us who were affected by Erica. Over 800 homes were destroyed by mudslides and flooding associated with the passage of tropical storm Erica. Losses and damages as well as reconstruction costs exceeds 1.2 billion dollars. The hunting season for 2015 is officially opened. The Honorable Minister for Agriculture and Fisheries, Johnson Drago, says residents can now hunt wildlife as well as conduct freshwater fishing. 
I can report that the hunting season is officially opened as of October 1st, 2015, in, in its traditional form. Um, hunters should um, go to the botanical gardens to purchase their license before attempting to hunt any wildlife um, on, on the island. And the hunters must understand that there are laws governing hunting and therefore anybody found hunting illegally will be prosecuted under the laws of the Commonwealth of Dominica. So I'm just encouraging persons who are interested in hunting my life that they must obtain a license and hunt within the, the, the specific season I'm, 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 I'm given by, by, by the laws. Hunting of wildlife and freshwater fish include agouti, manico, crabs, freshwater crabs, and crayfish. The hunting season runs from October 1st to December 31st, 2015. The Bureau of Gender Affairs is making plans to deal with social issues which could arise as a result of Tropical Storm Erica. Acting Director of the Bureau is Kira Paul. With the continued support of the Women Family Planning Associates, the Bureau will address these issues. We are aware that a number of issues might arise as it relates to violence against women and girls in shelters, um, also to um, women's sexual and reproductive health and rights, because one of the other issues, other, sorry, um, issues that arise is post-disaster is a baby boom. You may have a baby boom um, um, post erica probably nine to ten months from now, because sex may be used as a coping mechanism. So um, we need to prepare our women for that, and we've already started doing that in one of the shelters. We've done a session on contraceptives and family planning. Yeah, so we, we've, in moving forward, we have decided to incorporate those kind of sessions going into the disaster-prone um, um, communities and the disaster-affected areas post-tropical South America. Okay. With the continued support of the Women Family Planning Associates, the Bureau will address these issues. Um, we are currently also in discussion with UNFP and UN Women for technical support. Um, in the area of psychosocial support to deal with trauma related to gender-based violence specifically in shelters um, and also to, to provide other support mechanisms and training needs in areas of sexual and reproductive health and rights. Um, we are also requesting technical support to deliver capacity training to, to key stakeholders including health service providers and shelter managers and disaster management officials so that we can prepare for and respond to issues, as you, you, you mentioned, um, in terms of responding to violence against women and girls, health, sexual and reproductive health and rights, so that they themselves can be prepared and not just the Bureau to deal with those issues. There is a particular program that they have recommended, which is the MISS pro program, um, which has a number of tools, useful tools, um, that is specific to context of disaster settings that would be used in the training. Paul notes that with a proactive approach, the Bureau will be well equipped in the event of another disaster. Our data registry shows that domestic violence and gender-based violence is a serious issue in Dominica in terms of the statistics that we have available. We cannot wait, we cannot always wait to respond to the incidents, but what we have to do is to, res to prepare for and to take a proactive approach. So we need to take a proactive approach in, in terms of engaging all of our stakeholders and even preparing the potential victims for such situations. Before we leave, here's an announcement. Registration is now open for the January 2016 CSEC examinations. Private candidates wishing to register for this examination can now do so at the CXC local registrar's office, the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development, or the Science and Technology Building on Cornwall Street during normal office hours. Private candidates are required to have their last registration or candidate number and a pictorial ID for registration. Registration closes on October 15th. And that's the English news. Mark for St. Louis is next with the Creole Highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en créole. Nous, moi, c'est Macpherson saint louis Premièrement, plusieurs activités qui étaient accoutumées pendant la saison indépendante, l'année 2016, qui tient Magoué et qui est plus bas. Parole, c'est la sortie de la ministre de la Culture, Honorable Justine Charles. Une idée de l'activité qui a 
qui qui continuer nous ni cultural gala qui en place tous les vendredis nous savent ces journées créole web créole nous pour servir à créole nous nous comment en mois octobre so tous les vendredis en mois octobre so nous comment des monde pour continuer faire ça um, nous savent lecture series là um ioli blanc lecture series ça qui continuer nous savent um youth rally là qui en place parce que ces jeunes monde là nous pour mener ensemble um c'est on l'est même si nous nous storm la affecté mais mais nous ni pour continuer boost moral moun et faire yo copain c'est la terre pour qu'on finit nous ça continuer de tibitin so nous ka fait youth rally là nous ka fait national de parade la fête novembre in the morning cultural gala qui là oui là nous ça mener des trois cultural groups ensemble selon minister charles it's une activité qui parque chain selon culture erica nous savons que le désastre a affecté une partie de ces areas où nous savons qu'il y a autant de monde qui a participé à ces activités-là. Petite savane, Boetica, Delice, c'est côté ça. là. Et bien, nous savons que Delice, pour exemple, coupé ou pour que ça même. Um, Um, vini ouzo kon yo te kevle so petit savan nou sav kouman y afekte yo eve yo même an lide yo yo poko an dan stet wela nou sa man de trop ron diyo so nou ni pou am kopan kal te siti basyo an yo ka ale sou so nou pas sa mette yo hod sa oldo y te ke bon pou fe yo je ou ti men je ou te men at the same time ou pas sa mette trop pressure an le yo ale sa la so on pati yo pati ke sa participer so nous couper en dans ces cultural competitions là et nous savons nous n'y autant dépenses pour transporter vers pour payer des différents bitin à la salle so nous couper en dedans ça mais fin de novembre nous ça still taper yon c'est des yon c'est des trois ces groupes là pour venir pour continuer à danser chanter des contes cette activité ça là pour nous ça toute bagaille pas mort même si nous nous t'est affecté mais toute bagaille pas mort on a nouvelle ministre agricole qui a fait parole qui a quand gardé du vent pour la place patate blanc avancée. Une organisation Canada Propel fait donation 50 000 dollars Canada pour ministre agricole pour tuer plan ces patates là. Ministère agricole honorable Johnson Drago quand oui mais c'est Canada pour donation là. Eh ben oui, moi bon matin pour am ici aujourd'hui à à cérémonie ça. Oh là, nous ca recevoir un ministre agriculteur, 50 000 à l'argent candidat. Ça a venu plus que 100 000 à l'argent nous. Je dis ça pour gagner plein, ça a pris white potato, patate blanc. Quand on savez, tout un mois à vous, j'ai, j'y ai, nous n'avons pas les planter, nous avons dit que nous les pousser le ministre plus devant, et puis nous les bailler au primaire qualité plein. Parce que, um, en tant qu'il passe là, nous, quand nous sommes dans notre pays, à Samy pays, ministre, nous avons regardé pour la place neuf pour planter nous. Et puis la place là, nous avons demandé pour des produits qui ont une meilleure qualité. Et je dis ça, la um, compagnie, l'organisation, ça a coûté WISC, nous avons eu l'agence pour nous faire un improve elite quality plan. Ça, c'est plan qui est Um, and uh, you know, mayor grade, la um, nous get up a primary fruit, like a puski sa kakoui succulent, se fou ya nous get up a wati plus a yo. So, nous ka di merci pou um, espoué, mouche um, Doug Graham, et pi madame Nadia Paquet, ki on mam, on mam prompel, ki toujou ka travay eve menis agrikolte, ki ja travay epi nou nari pasi, et veille qui continue de travailler et puis nous encore. Et puis finalement, le département pompier a tapé bon compliment pour mon au travail après Erika. Parole c'est la sortie au ministère de la Sécurité nationale, Honorable Ribbon Blackmore. Vous savez, le um, um, département de faire a fait un travail qui est bien important pour, pour sauver le monde et bien, pour rescuer le monde comme ça. Vous savez, Um, petit savane, um, moule en petit savane, um, il était en, en danger tout bonnement. Et ben, là, avec un passé, bon et bon matin, un jour ça, pour moi, cette moule là qui allait en petit savane, c'était police là, et ben, un département du fait, même un département du fait. Et ben, pour faire certains, il y a des moules, 
Le reste qui monde bagaille comme ça. Et ben ça ça c'est bagaille nous pour dire merci tout bonnement pour pour monde qui a travaillé en département de Fier. So moi moi le dis encore merci tout bonnement pour travail là yo car continuer pour faire à dormir. Pour faire certains à me sauver la vie et ben yo yo faire certain mon dormir taper service qui bien bon en département de Fier. Mais c'est même ça c'est tout pour nous faire croire pour à présent non moins c'est Mac Fresh Saint Louis au voir Coming up next tips on anger management While it's true that suppressing and ignoring anger is unhealthy venting is no better In fact outbursts and tirades only fuel the fire and reinforce your anger problems Be aware of your anger warning signs and triggers Explore what's really behind your anger. Learn ways to cool down, take some deep breaths, exercise, stretch or massage areas of tension, and slowly count to 10. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website, news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica, and follow our Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I'm Nisha Charles. Thanks for watching and do join us again next time on National Focus.